Machines like these helped dishonest computer specialists swindle some $200 million last year. And banks, government agencies, and private industry are still losing millions to computer crime. A computer crime is manipulation of data and uh, con fixing the data so that it would be of one's own best benefit to uh, modify. For instance, uh, computer crime would be where a programmer modified the program so that no one would detect the fact that he was writing extra checks and paychecks for himself, or he was paying a company that did not exist and intercept the check and then cash that check for his own benefit. This new kind of fraud has grown so big in the last 10 years that the FBI has trained 500 agents in data processing techniques. The FBI even knows what kind of man it's usually looking for. A highly intelligent individual between the ages of 18 and 35 who kind of looks on the computer as a challenge to uh, not so much to steal but just to penetrate and find out what's in the computer and what he can do with it. The world of computers is highly specialized and it takes an expert to become a computer thief. One area of infiltration is the input terminal where operators type data directly into the computer or where the operator can change information or add new information to data already in the computer. Experts say about 85% of the computer crimes will not be detected, mainly because corporate management doesn't know enough about the problem. Louis Goma has one device uh, that instance, protects right the information the on a tape reel. And this reel of computer tape has been protected <clears throat> so that no one can take it and mount it on the computer and print it out without someone having the key that would allow them to gain access through this locking device. But even with the FBI and data processing security experts working against computer crime, very few cases will ever come to court. Management is usually so embarrassed that it simply fires the culprit. Pat Nottingham, Channel 8 News.